in Ireland, metal is something you're meant to grow out of. You know, that's the way it's viewed. And when you don't, everyone's going, what the fuck is going on here? But if you go over to Europe, it's taken more as a serious genre of music. Whereas here, it's something you go through in your teens. Like, I believe in this since I got into metal. I just believe this is a lifestyle for my life. So, like, you make friends in your teenagers, and you see them wearing baggy jeans and going to raves and shit, you go, know, man, that's so disappointing, you know? Because <laughs> I thought we were all in this together, like it was a brotherhood. And they all fade away and you're fucking still the only one with long hair, and, you know? <laughs> I think the Irish bands didn't believe they could do something big, whereas I believed big things could happen, you know? I ended up moving to answer an ad in Krang or something like that, and I ended up living in the UK. Recorded some music over there as well. That's when I came back and me and Mick started the swarm, you know, it was like 2000 or something like that, was it? 2001, 2001 yeah. And to be honest, we were kind of frustrated. We started writing songs. We wanted to play more extreme music anyway, the three of us. So it kind of made sense to join up together. Yeah. We're all into the same genre. When them two bands broke up, we were going into Zelda Cult with the same mindset. We all knew exactly where we wanted to go. The song will start to write itself, it'll follow its own path, so you're best not interrupted, like, so you just kind of go with the flow, and we kind of developed into what we're doing now, like, it wasn't a conscious thing, it just happened. It got more song structured, kind of more vocal driven, we just didn't overthink it, we just write and see what comes out. As far as the song writing is going, it's still the same, same process, you know, it's not all about how technical something is, I mean, it doesn't matter that side of it, it's, it's all about the song what we actually were striving to be is what we're doing right now. death metal songs now and I think that's what's missing from death metal lately is songs you know like in the early 90s it was death metal songs and that's what we grew up listening to and then musicians got too good I think since YouTube generation came along and they just evolved into this amazing musicians but can't write songs we were using like seven string guitars so we were kind of we were using the seven strings for everything for fast stuff for slow stuff and everything and myself and Jay then after a while we were kind of like if we played a faster stuff say in kind of like standard tuning just off regular eight regular six string guitars it sounds more exciting it sounds livelier and keep the slower stuff then for the seven strings it sounds doomier slimier like you know that kind of a way it's more impact then with the uh, with the lower stuff because like you got something with a load of energy and next thing you drop down at this big heavy motherfucker <laughs> you know
me making music for ourselves. That's what it's about. It's it's about us first. It's about making us happy. If people like it, how bad? Like, do you know what I mean? Even better. But at the end of the day, it's down to making sure the four of us are happy with what we're playing. I'd happily come out to this shed for the rest of my life and never play another gig and still fucking be happy playing, you know? So that's We've often said that, actually. <laughs> so, uh, a, that good, a good, a good jam inside yeah. here. It's as good as any fucking gig, you know? Drink a few cans, play a few tunes. 